Romans chapter 10 verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words into the end of the world. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Thanks, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sister Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gospel people here for a bit have, have they not heard? Yes, verily, truly. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they heard this word, especially immediate family members. Like you got brothers and you got sisters, you know what I'm saying? They came out the same womb. They, they know we out there on the highways and byways, starting off with the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone. They know we out there on the highways and byways preaching this Bible week in and week out. Crying aloud, sparing not, lifting up our voice like trumpets, but they don't give a damn. They don't give a damn until something happens. And that's when your phone start blowing up. When, when judgment start going forth, you, you ain't heard from people all of a sudden my phone blowing up today. You ain't heard from people in 10, 15 years. You know, however long you've been teaching this word, you, you don't hear from nobody until they end up in a damn hospital somewhere, end up in some a bad situation. That's when you hear from them. But, but when you're preaching this word, you, you don't hear from them, right? When it's time to repent, you never hear from them. When it's time to get a breakdown according to the scripture, when it's time to hear a scripture on fearing the Lord, you don't hear from them. But then all of a sudden, soon something happens. Soon as you howl about Shema Rashad, bring judgment on you, Nick Rose, Lights, and Native Americans, mainly family members. Then your phone start ringing. The hell with y'all, all right? When they see us coming, or they ain't go with that Bible. When they're eating their fat back, their ham hogs, when they celebrate Christmas, New Year's Eve, you, you don't hear from them, right? But then soon something happens, that's when you hear from them. No, no one calls you and say, hey, hey bro, uh, what's, what's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son? What, what type of foods did the Lord say we're not supposed to eat and what type of foods are we we're able to eat? No, you don't hear that. Let's get this again. Romans, that's why judgment going forth, man. Now, everybody wants you to start doing some crying. Everybody wants you to start doing some praying for them, right? So the Lord start judging them. Well, hey, what was they at when you was bringing out the scriptures? What was they at when you was out there on the highways and byways week in and week out? Breaking down the scriptures the right way. What was they at? What was the family members at then? Let's get this, man. Because in this thing of ours, the Lord going to judge family members that don't repent. They're going to die, man. All right? Men, women, and children. The Israelites that don't turn back, you're going to die, all right? Romans 10, and it could be your favorite cousin. It could be your favorite aunt. It could be your brother. It could be your sister. It could be your, your sons or your daughters. Let's get this. Romans 10, 17. So faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High, which is the Bible. See, when we heard this word, that faith kicked in. And we and the Lord put the spirit on us to believe that gift of faith. That's why we can't take this thing for lightly or for granted, man. Because the average Israelite, when they hear the word, they, they don't have faith mixed in them to believe in the word. And then years go by, and then years go by, and then years go by, and they continue to get it. They stay in that madness and in that nonsense. They ignore the words of your howl about Shemel Shai. They don't want to see you. They don't want to hear from you. But then so and something happened. Can you send up a prayer for me? That, that's Jake for you though, man. That's Jake for, let's get this Hebrews. Because it says, it says faith cometh by hearing, right? They heard the word just like we heard the word. But let's get this though. Because <clears throat> my phone been blowing up all day ever since I got home from work. All of a sudden, my phone, my phone blowing up. And I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how the hell did all these people get my number? <clears throat> they, they'll find out They'll find your number You know what I'm saying When they need a prayer But when it comes to Hearing a scripture You don't hear from nobody Let's get this Hebrews chapter 4 Verse 2 For unto us Was the gospel preached As well as Unto them The hopeful elect We heard the word Two thirds They heard the word But the word preached Did not profit them 
not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So the average Israelite family members included, when they heard the word, they didn't repent. They, they didn't believe in the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. They could see it on hiding Easter eggs. You know, they, they sold their drugs. They, they did their drugs. They, they kept game banging. You know, kept, kept eating that fat back, that pork chop. You know what I'm saying? Them shrimps. You know, all them abominable fools, they, they didn't want to hear the words of the Lord until something happens, man. That's when they want to hear. That's when we're the Lord. We're brethren. We're brethren. Don't bread still preach the Bible? Now, now you want to hear. Now you want to hear the Bible. You don't got faith in it. Just want somebody to pray for you right quick. And so, and then, so you know how Jake is. As soon as the Lord heal him, I ain't going to never do it again, Lord. As soon as the Lord heal him, what they do? They go back to that nonsense where the Lord is tired of it, man. The Lord bringing that hammer down on family members included, man. This is the word preached and not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it, man. For we, the hopeful elect, for we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said. So only ones, only ones that's going to get delivered is the elect of the nation of Israel. They're going to enter into the rest, man. Meaning get delivered enter into the kingdom, man. All right? Off of their belief, man. You see? Their faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And it's up to the Lord's will, man. Who makes it? Who don't make it, man? Who gets judged and who don't get judged? But the word been preached. Let's go back. Romans 10 and 18. But I say, have they not heard? Have the Israelites, Negroes, Latin? It's all on social media now. Everybody got Facebook. Everybody got Instagram. Everybody got TikTok. Everybody got all these damn avenues of, of watching different social media sites. It, the, the word is on every um, internet site known to mankind. You got somebody talking about the Hebrew Israelites. <clears throat> So there ain't no excuse when Israel get judged by Yahweh by Shemel. There ain't no excuse, man. All right? Their sign went out into all the earth and their words into the ends of the world. How, how did they do that? By way of the internet, like the video I'm doing right about now. When I finish recording, I'm going to put it on the internet and it's going to get on the YouTube. And the Israelites that don't take heed going to get judged, man. That's what you see going for, judgment, man. The Heavenly Father been sick and tired of you Israelites, man. The Lord said you're going to mock when your fear come too. Let's get this, man. You Israelites, man, y'all in a whole lot of hell of a trouble, man. Repent. The scriptures tell us to repent, man. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. That whosoever, when I seek the Lord power of Israel, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, because shit is hitting the fan now. Family members ending up in the damn hospital stretched out. It was all good two weeks ago. You was partying, having fun, happy new year, and all that other nonsense. And been doing it for years. You see? Family members been knowing we've been preaching the word, the, the heavenly father, your words of your how about Shimmy Shot the words of the Bible for years. Ain't nobody where everybody at? We we at. Nowhere to be found until until the Lord bend your ass up, you know what I'm saying? And you end up in a hospital somewhere or something's happening to you. Or you can't pay your rent. You ain't got no food on the table. That's when we hear from you, man. Second Chronicles 15, 13, that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who they really call God of Jesus Christ, should be put to death. Whether small or great, whether man or woman. Remember, the Lord kills, he wounds, he heals. Neither is there any that can deliver out of his hands, man. And it's a year of turn up. And it's that year of turn up, the Lord turning up on you, Israelites, man. Deuteronomy 32, 39, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. They end up in a damn hospital. What, what you expect us to do? Come down to the hospital? Huh? We, we expect us to do, man. We got to move on, all right? When these things start happening, when it was going to happen more frequently, Family members are going to be getting judged. The family members that don't repent, they're going to get judged by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh And guess what? We got to move on. We got to keep pressing forward. 
Yeah, no, no one comes down to the campsite and listens, open up their Bibles, family members. There ain't no family members coming around trying to take heed to the words of Yahweh about Shimei was shot. What did the Lord say again? See, now that I am, I am He, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. So any family members or anybody to get chicken off the face of the earth, the Lord said, I did it. You still alive? You got you got a, you got a chance to repent, man. You Israelites that are still alive, you got a chance to repent if it's the Lord's will, man. Turn back remorseful to Yahweh by Shimei Shah. Look, I receive judgment. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You see? Let's get this Isaiah right quick. Quick little lesson, man. Phone been blowing up all damn day. Phone ain't, phone stay dry. All of a sudden, all kind of um, weird ass numbers popping up. Messages popping up. This person's sick. This person that. This that and third. This person in the hospital. This happened to that person. Why all of a sudden ain't heard from you in years? Didn't give a damn if my rent got paid. Didn't care if I was sick. Didn't care if I had anything to eat. But then soon something happened to him. Your phone start blowing up, right? So can you say some prayers for me? Isaiah 50, 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgressions. And the house of Jacob their sins. Just like starting off with the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, they was crying aloud. They weren't sparing nobody feelings. They was lifting up their voice like trumpets, man. They showed us our transgressions. They showed us who was going off at. And the Lord put his spirit on us to take heed and turn back. You see? Repent or die pretty much, man. And, and then you Israelites just been knowing the words for years. Then you want somebody to all of a sudden to say a prayer for you. You see? Come on, man. Let's get this. Hosea 4 and 6. My people, the Hebrew Israelites, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. The last thing they want to know about is your how about Shimei So as soon as they see you coming, the first thing they do is start talking shit about you. There he go with that Bible. Oh, Mr. Goody Two Shoes. He, he don't eat pork, y'all. He look, he don't eat shrimp, y'all. He, he don't celebrate Christmas, y'all. Throw you in a negative light. Just because you don't want to practice the customs of the heathens, man. The scriptures tell us, follow not a multitude to do evil. Just because you ain't got a bald ass head. Just because you ain't got lineups, dreads. You know, you ain't puffing on a big giant blunt. Everybody look at you like you crazy. They say you ain't cool no more. Anytime you're not practicing the customs of the heathens, your own people, family members included, brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? Say you ain't cool no more. You ain't hip no more. You look, they, look, you done lost your mind. You see? We didn't, we didn't heard it all, man. We didn't heard it all from people, man. This person say you crazy out there on the highways and byways. And, and, and you, you all right, brother? Somebody said they see you on, 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 on the streets, don't say preaching the Bible. Are, are you okay? Hey, are you okay? Because I'm fine, man. The Lord told us to cry aloud, spare not, lift up our voice like trumpets. We know who we are now. We're the biblical Hebrew Israelites. But our people want to stay black. We'll die black then. They want to stay African American. They want to stay Latino. They want to stay um, uh, so called Native American Indian. We'll, we'll die that way then. You see? My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, man. So the knowledge that we give you, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, which will keep you stable, which will be the stability of thy time. You reject it. So the Lord said, I'm going to reject you now. Get ready for your phones to blow the hell up, man. All right? Messages everywhere. This person is sick. This person hospitalized. You know what I'm saying? This person got in an accident. This person happened to this. This person. You just get ready, man. More than a little bit. Why? Because it's the year turn up. And the Lord said, you rejected my knowledge. Damn it, I'm going to reject you. Family members included, man. And, and then the Lord said, I'm going to mock when your fear come, man. You reap what you sow, man. All this judgment going on, you don't hear from nobody until something happened, man. All right? Let's get this. This is um, what I want. Zephaniah. Let's get Zephaniah right quick. And I'm going to wrap it up. 
Ever since I got off, them phone been just blowing up all day. This happened to this family member. This, this person. Come on, man. Where you at when it's time to hear these scriptures? Nowhere to be found. Let's get this. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5. The just Lord, the righteous Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do if he bring his judgment to light. He fell if not. But the unjust know of no shame. So it's all good until it hit home. You see? Yeah, ain't nobody thinking about Yahweh by Shem until it hit home. You see? An another lesson on repenting. Turning back to Yahweh by Shem because judgment showed enough going forth, man. Let's get this. Still in the book of Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3. Seek ye the Lord. Yahweh by Shem All ye meek of the earth, because the Lord resists the proud. The word meek goes back to the word humble. The Lord is looking for the humble. Remember, the meek shall inherit the earth. The Lord is looking for the humble. Because a prideful person, he resisted, right? Which had wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. We bring out these scriptures all the time. All the time. Shit, we done been out on the highways and byways enough times. Family members ride past and give us the evil eye. People we grew up in the world, they ride past, walk past, and give us the evil eye. Either they cross the street until some, until, until some judgment happened. And then, then they're trying to find out where you stay. They're trying to find out where you work. They're trying to find out your phone number and all that. So you can do what? So you can say a prayer. So you can say a prayer for them. And they've been ignoring the hell out of you, man. They ain't been thinking about your howl about Shem Yahweh until judgment come upon them. Then they want you to say a prayer. You see, they want you to drop down on your knees for them. The hell with them, man. Straight up, man. Whoever perish being innocent. Remember Job 4 and 7. Whoever perish being innocent. Aware with the righteous cut off. Even as I have seen they that plow iniquity reap the same. You out there committing wicked acts and you ain't trying to turn back. Look, man, it is what it is, man. Let's get this. Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. You how about Shimei Yamashah because you don't know when your, when your number going to get called. You see? Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. You how about Shimei Yamashah and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security when it's all good. When everything is going well for you in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. Now, not my God, not, not my God. What, what, what God are you serving in? Because I just read our power, Yahweh Bashim, he kills he keeps alive, he wounds, he heals. Neither is there any that can deliver out of his hand, man. Talking about, man. Lord, been fed up with Jake, man. Now everybody want to blow your phone up. Hell, don't blow my phone up now. Heard from people in years, man. <clears throat> Just a quick little lesson through the spirit of your house about Shimmy was shot, man. Everybody want to call you all of a sudden, right? You're, you you should, you still trying to figure out how the hell these people get your number, man. Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil, meaning bad times, evil, right? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? So everything, the Lord controlling the good and the bad, man. All right? Shall there be evil, meaning bad times in the city, and the Lord have not done it? You see, so all this judgment going forth, it's, it's of the Lord, man. The Lord just look, the Lord says, stay focused. It's going to be a whole lot of death out here. Remember, great miseries, many great miseries shall come upon these people, these wicked people of the earth because of their pride, man. All right. See, the Lord knows how to stop that pride by, by bringing judgment upon you, man. All right. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret into his service to prophets, man. So Yahweh Bashim Yahshua got his service on the highways and byways, telling you Israelites to repent. You see? Matter of fact, I'm gonna bring out one more and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Bring out one more and then I'm gonna wrap it up. This is um Ezekiel chapter 18. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. 
and it reads, therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. And that's what you see going forth. Judgment, man. All right? Judgment is going forth, man. It's all about the elect. He have care for his elect. They that trust in Yahweh by Shemel Shashia understand the truth. You see? The book of remembrance was written for those that fear Yahweh by Shemel that trust in Yahweh by Shemel right? You can find that in Malachi, the third chapter, right? Ezekiel 18, 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, a people before us a place so called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. That's what's going for judgment, man. All right? It is everyone according to his ways. Save the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, repent, meaning turn back, sorrow for Israel. Remember, man also knoweth not his time. You don't know when the Lord is going to judge you, Israel. Yeah, right here, right here, playing around. Taking everything for a joke, taking every, taking his word for granted. Until some judgment come upon you. And then his brother, can you say a prayer for me, brother? Brother. No. All right? No. All right? No. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your ruin, man. Sin upon sin, wickedness. You don't want that to be your ruin, man. Your end all, be it all. Just a quick little lesson through the spirit of your house by Shimei Oshai, man. All of a sudden, so your family members start getting judged or, or some people that's been ignoring the hell out of you for all these years. So as soon as they start getting judged, everybody, oh yeah, that, doesn't he still teach the Bible? What's the name of that God he's praying to? Can, can he send up some prayers for us? You better repent, Israel. Judgment going forth, man. Judgment going forth. Shalom.